Hello, I wanted to make a video of my 1998 Ram 1500 motor mounts. I was having an issue where, upon hard acceleration, I would feel a jolting sensation come up through the steering column, almost like the transmission was slipping or trying to catch. However, I would also feel this on heavy braking. So I wanted to set up a video here inside the engine bay and take a look at the motor mounts and see how much movement was going on. Here you're on the passenger's wheel well looking towards the shock column and motor mount down in the corner. I'll clip together a couple of videos and we'll see what it looks like. So as you can see, that's a fair amount of left and right movement, at least in my opinion. We're going to check out another view here in just a second. So this view here is actually underneath the car on the frame rail, looking at the engine motor mount from behind. Now the video unfortunately was sideways, so I had to rotate it here, so sorry about the black space. However, what you'll start to see here is the forward and backward movement a little bit more clear, and you can even see some up and down. The thing right to your right there is actually the starter on the side of the motor, so here we're on the driver's side of the engine. You can also see what I think are either transmission lines uh, for coolant uh, going up to a front radiator, you can see those move back and forth as well. Ignore the light on the differential down below, that's moving up and down with the, uh, with the suspension, so don't take that as anything moving. We're really only looking at the back of this motor mount, and then the rest of the engine as it moves in and out.
so as you can see from this rear view, there's a fair amount of forward and back movement as well as up and down. The next shot that we're going to take a look at looks at the transfer case and the drive shaft going back to the differential. So from this view, we're looking from the body of the driver's side at the transfer case and drive shaft, which goes back to the differential. In this view, you can still see a significant amount of lateral movement, as well as some up and down movement of both the transfer case and the yoke sticking out of the back of the transfer case onto the drive shaft. You may also hear a clunk every once in a while when starting and stopping, as well as some jittering around of the entire transfer case. Take a look. So anyway, I think that concludes this video here. You can see from the different angles that there seems to be a lot of lateral as well as up and down movement around the motor mounts, as well as it going all the way back through to the transfer case, transmission, and drive shaft. You can even hear a clunking there in the last couple clips, and it may be the yoke of the drive shaft slapping into the back of the transfer case. I'm not entirely sure. If you have any thoughts, please share them. I hope this video was of some help to you, especially if you're having an issue where you feel like something isn't shifting into gear with your transmission, but maybe your transmission is okay. I found that this is most likely due to bad motor mounts and maybe even a transmission mount. I will likely be replacing them and will follow up with some after footage to hopefully see a good comparison after the fact. Thanks for watching.